Hello, my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for what? We're listening for love. Yes. So with that being said, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, for joining with me, and being a part of this family. So if you really like it here and you want to hang out even more, you can come join me on Instagram on Tuesdays, 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. We go live for happy hour and do live readings. Now, let's talk about the way these readings are going to go. We are going to talk about a general. Then we'll go into a singles, couples, and all signs. All right? They will all be timestamped. But sometimes if you listen to all of it, you might catch some great messages or get a few little kikis. Okay? Anyways, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs. Lots and lots of love. Hi fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs all right so let's talk about this energy that we got going on up above us on the first we starting off with the shebang Ew. so i had to do you guys first i had to do the water signs first because y'all gonna feel this the most we have the on november 1st sorry i saw a message come on my phone new moon in scorpio nine degrees nine is about things coming to an end and i'm using these cards called the loteria remedios i have to do an unboxing absolutely love them i got them at a botanica they have changed the way i look at this whole game and made me realize and remember i used to pretend to read the loteria cards as if they were tarot cards before i started reading tarot when i was a little kid anyways you have el cotorro okay the parrot this is about, let's get out of the cycles. This new moon is about, look, you keep repeating cycles. You keep repeating, repeating, and repeating. What can you do differently? What can you do to move forward? All right? El cotorro is also that about a soulmate. So when you see parrots in readings and things like that, you should see too. That means you're going to be connecting to a soulmate. However, I got to tell you all this story. When I was little, I bought some earrings for my mom at the Tyler, Texas <laughs> Zoo, okay? It was my it was my hard-worked money. I was little. I wanted to buy her something special. And they were parrots, okay? They were parrots. And they were big. <laughs> and I used to beg her to wear them. I gave I was so proud of them. I bought them with my own money. Um, she never wore them. <laughs> I think she wore them once because I got on her nerves so bad. But when I saw this card, it, it brought me back to that to that moment with her. And she was a Pisces. And um absolutely adore her. And for Dia de los Muertos, I know she'll be with me. But I know she's with me all the time. But yes, parrot earrings are the best. <laughs> Anyways, this is about you really looking at your cycles and what is keeping you from that situation. I just noticed she has a nose ring. Okay, so I have a nose ring. My mom told me I will never get my nose pierced. And this is what I'm telling my daughter. When you're ready to get your nose pierced, I'll do it with you because mom's not going to be able to get both of them. <laughs> What a mom, right? So yeah, instead of me telling my daughter, you better never get it. I'm like, we do it together. So we did it together. Yeah, my little Scorpio. Anyways, this beautiful energy is coming through for the new moon. On the second, we have Mercury entering into Sagittarius. This is about communication. Watch your words. You might talk a little bit too much, say a little some outlandish things, but just be, be prepared. Be on your toes. On the third, Mars moves into Leo. Mars is planet of action, decision with that powerful Leo energy. You're going to be brave and courageous, speaking from your heart. On the 11th, Happy Veterans Day, and thank you to all of our beautiful veterans out there that are helping us, protecting us, and keeping us safe. All right, my dad is a veteran. I have a lot of respect. Thank you, Blanca. Thank you to all the veterans in my life, to my students, and to everyone out there fighting the fight. All right, also the 11th, my daughter's birthday. She will be 16. <laughs> Super excited. Anyways, Venus enters into Capricorn on that day, so Capricorns are going to be looking hella good, but love's got to make sense for us to continue going. Like, it's got to make dollars, and it's got to make sense that we ain't playing along. All right, on the 15th, Saturn goes direct. All right, be prepared. Full moon in Taurus, 24 degrees, and you got the guitar, el bandalón. Now, with this energy, it is time to unwind. You have been strung a little too tight. So during this full moon, it's going to be important for you to put on some relaxing music, get in the bath, get a massage, do things that make you feel calm and change your tune, my friend. On the 21st, on the 19th, Pluto enters into Aquarius. Look, guys, I am not one on loom and gloom, but I am one on reality. There's a lot of things being brought to the forefront, a lot of things that are being said in the... Um, online and stuff and things that we're finding out that we just never thought we would ever be saying or living through with that being said protect your peace okay get offline do something that raises your vibration because there's going to be a lot a lot coming to the forefront all right november is going to be a very in tune month all right now on the 21st call that sexy sagittarius and let's go have dinner lunch and brunch baby and on the 25th we're prepared for that mercury retrograde at 
Oh my goodness, my back has been itching. In Sagittarius, okay? Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius. So do all that Mercury retrograde shenanigans stuff, all right? But don't be afraid of it, all right? Now, your planetary alignment is saying, let's pay attention to Uranus. Not Uranus, but Uranus, okay? Uranus is this planet of just unpredictable, okay? That song by Jamie Foxx came into my head. Unpredictable. Unpredictable energy is going to come in change things for you, like a bunch of changes are possibly on the forefront, but it's okay. This is just saying, pay attention to that. There's a big change on the horizon. You're also looking forward to the summertime. Summer's going to be very important for you as we're moving into the year. Like a lot of changes are coming into your life and you're going through a lot of major healings also. You could be also meeting a mentor or going to a therapist or going to some form of healing that's going to help you and prepare you to be ready to where you want to be in love and in life. Your overall energy coming in from the Kyle Gray deck called Angels and Ancestors is the Mirror Guardian. And I think that there's a lot of you guys really focused on change right now. Pisces, you have want to, you want to develop, you want to grow, you want to move to the next level. And you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're reflecting and you're like noticing things about yourself that are keeping you from where you want to be. All right. So let's get into that general reading because I've been tucking your ear off. <laughs> I'm waiting on my boo bear to get home from school so we can go trick-or-treating. She's going to be door and I'm going to be swiper. <laughs> but my fox ears have not made it in. I'm a little disappointed. Anyways, we got a liar, liar, pencil, fire. Okay, be careful. Someone's being sneaky. So it's time to let it go, let it go, let it go. And go on that date. All right? So that you can fall in love. So you could be dealing with someone who's selling you a dream, okay, to get up in between, baby. They want to get up in between them legs. Yeah, all right. Let's see what this liar is about. We have a new beginning. We're freeing ourselves from that situation. It was a tragic ending. You found something out. You're letting go of someone. You're taking a chance. This person made you feel like, um, like they didn't like you as much as they did, okay? And you're going to enjoy yourself. You're going to go out on a date. You're going to have fun. And that love spell said, we are breaking that feeling of not being enough. I was talking to a friend the other day who was doing a love a love candle, right? Here's passion. I'm sharing a lot, but I'm going to share this with you guys as I shuffle. And um, she, she was like, it broke. I must be cursed or whatever. I was like, no, you broke the curse. You broke that because now you're open and you're ready for love and you're and you're going to notice you're not going to feel the same about that individual anymore. You're not going to feel like they have that hold over you. Lo and behold, she's free. <laughs> no longer feels that way. All right. So my daughter's walking home. Let's see. We got to get our costumes together. We got to get ready. She's she's so cute. She wore a costume to, to school today. All right, let's see what is our general message. What do we got going on here? We have strength. This is you coming in. You got your you got your sweater on. You're like, nope, I'm good. I don't need your jacket. I'm feeling all right. King of Pentacles kind of vibe. You got it going on. You're in control. Trusting your intuition, moving forward. And it didn't. It doesn't matter how long it took you to get there. You're getting there. Okay. And there you are as the King of Cups. So it's like you put your money where your mouth is. You're also getting over that situation with the Five of Cups here. So I kind of feel like you're strong enough to make these decisions. Two Kings in your read is also about you possibly getting recognition or well-known at work. Congratulations on your promotion if that's coming. Let's talk about it. With the high priestess in the center of your read, you read that, you read that mofo to the pieces, all right? You took his edges or her edges, all right? And you let that go. You were like, mm -mm. and that, she said, quack, quack, or what did they mean? The quack, quack, I don't know, the curl sound. You said, we're not doing that, baby. We are not doing that. You're strong enough, you're smart enough, and I don't know what 1982 got to do with you, but it's sticking out in my head. Now, there was something that you feel like it was taking a long time to get there, but you got there. And that's all that matters, Pisces. You made it. All right? So, work opportunities coming through. We're getting over the boo-boo, and we're moving forward. And now, we're breaking a spell. A spell was set on you, <laughs> and you're done with that. Let's get into that beautiful single life, okay? Bless these cards for our beautiful singles for Pisces, sun, moon, and a rising. Let's see. Communication is going to be very important, okay? Love spell, okay? And sexuality. Okay, someone is a little bit questioning, like, are we moving too fast? Do I really like this? Is this for me? So that might be something you're experiencing. And the answer for someone right now is Chanel. Okay, it's not the right time. So maybe we take a little take it easy. We're not going to jump into the bed, but we're going to see what happens. Okay, let's see here. 
All right, what does communicate have for you? We have a karmic relationship, okay? So there's a lot of letting go, going back and forth, that kind of vibe. Then we have our love spell card, the snake, okay? Competition. So maybe someone is trying to interfere, but they can't because, you know, your person's just in love with you. We need to talk about how we want to move in this relationship and how we're feeling about each other physically. And if someone is running away from you right now, it's just not a good time for them, okay? So those are some issues you could be finding as you're looking and searching in this relationship, all right? So let's look at this beautiful energy. Let's ask the tarot what is going on here for our beautiful Pisces. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. You've been doing a lot of work. You've been, you've, you can also meet somebody at work. There's the Emperor. There's someone in charge. Actually, he's got their eye on you. And it's a victory, okay? Like someone is like, look, I really like you. I really like who you are. And I'm coming to see you, all right? Coming in more ways than one, if you know what I mean, all right? So they really like you. I like it. And they see you as their queen of pentacles. Like, they're like, I like the way you work. I like the way you talk. I like the way you walk. I like everything about you. But you're just like, maybe you're not even noticing it. You ever notice, like, someone's like, oh, I've had my eye on you for a while. I really like you. And you're like, I didn't even know you, I didn't even know you knew I existed. <laughs> That's me. Like, when they're like, oh, you're so pretty. And I'm like, really? I didn't, I didn't even know you knew who I was. Like, I will be real honest with someone. Like, what are you talking about? However, they see the world with you, okay? They believe you are everything. July 21st and August 21st could be very important. I also see the dates of April 2nd. Okay, let's see here. So, as we're going, we're working, we're getting recognized. It could even be that you're asked to go on a work trip. But someone sees you as so powerful. Your dreams are going to be also very intuitive this month. Pay attention to your dreams, okay? And someone is dreaming about you. All right, what does this Eight of Pentacles have for my beautiful Pisces? Let's see here. We have the Three of Cups. Okay, so there's a celebration. You could be asked to go to a work celebration, something like that. There's something with travel because there's a chariot again. I'll show you real quick. So there's this energy of working on things, getting celebrated. You feel like you're going somewhere. Like things are really working out for you. You have strong cancer in your read right now. The emperor is trying to make a decision. This could be you or the person that you have your eye on. And this individual or you is like, look, I need, I need a little bit more information before we move forward. But I sure would like to have a swinging good time with them. Okay? And yes, they feel for you like you feel for them. So this person is like, I really want to talk to them. I really want to get to know them. What is this chariot about? The chariot is they're going to go for it with the two of swords. They've made their decision. They're going to go for it. They're going to ask you out. They want to be your king of wands. You have strong Aries and Cancer coming out in your read. All right. They want to connect at the root chakra. All right. And justice has been served. So I do feel like there's a situation of this has been a long time coming, if you know what I mean. Like they've had their eye on you for a minute and they're going to get brave enough. Queen of Pentacles with the High Priestess. I'm going to tell you, you already know who they are. And you know what? You're done with the other person you were with. Three of Swords. Give me one more after that. And the Five of Cups. So you already know who this new person is. I do think the person from the past is trying to come in and, um, and talk to you. Okay? Like they're really trying to come in and talk to you. But you've put your boundaries with the Nine of Swords. And the moon. You you might even be moving. There might be a, a big move that you're making. You didn't even see it coming and you're going. Ah, coming and going. All right, what does the world have for you? The world wants you to know there's going to be a conversation with the two of wands. And then, yeah, the three of pentacles. I do think that there could be someone that you work with. And at the bottom of this deck, I have the queen of wands looking at me. Okay, so this is a divine pair. I do feel like you've met somebody very, um, you're very attracted to. Strong Aries, strong Cancer coming through. This is this energy of like, look, you already knew somebody was going to do the damn dirty to you if you let them back in your life. So you didn't let them come back in your life and you moved on. But there's someone who you might work with or you meet through a work situation. A lot of people are like, what do you mean by that? You walk into their work. They walk into your work. Something like that happens. And there is like an instant connection. All right. And I want to hear all about it, Pisces. So send me a message. All right. Ew. But I think you're releasing this karmic relationship that you were in, which we saw earlier. And you're like, I'm going to be open to something new. That cycle is over. I also see strong soulmate coming in for you. Soulmate with the parrot. Then I have the world, the emperor, the king and the queen of wands. Very strong connection coming in. Okay. Very, very, very strong connection. It's a very beautiful vibe. Whew. 
let's see let's get a description on the new person coming in for you let's get a description on this individual let's see what does this person look like what does this new emperor look like why does my kid keep telling me i'm leaving i'm leaving and they don't leave i'm waiting over here like a psycho all right, so we have Taurus energy. This person has got their eye on you, very masculine energy. Y'all could be different cultures or different races, okay? And we have biracial. We also have someone who could have two-tone hair. Oh, just a minute. Sorry, if you hear someone in the background, it's my, it's my boo bear. All right, let's get one more clue on this individual. Two came out. They're going to have reddish brown hair, okay, the sexy, sexy walk, very established energy, okay, so we have strong Scorpio and Cancer coming through, Taurus, and they have very beautiful skin, very, very beautiful skin, I pulled a lot of clues out, okay, let's see what this gentleman wants you to know, two-tone hair, there's something about their hair, guys, they're very prideful, okay, they might be a little nervous to talk to you, could be in the banking industry or they're all about saving money they talk about finances quite a bit they're into physical fitness okay and there's that music someone could play the guitar okay someone could really play the guitar and for some of y'all who are in same-sex relationships this person is still kind of questioning like they're not sure if they're ready to go for it all the way okay overall they're gonna have a very interesting tattoo all right Okay, let's see. Let's get you some guidance moving forward. Can you put my phone on the charger for me in the room? Thank you. Now that I know that you're here. <laughs> I love you. All right, let's see here. Let's get some guidance. We have anxiety. So you're a little nervous. The 18th and the 19th keep popping up on other cards. So this could be important about your finances possibly. But it's going to work out with the community card. So I feel like whatever it is you're worried about, Pisces, it's going to come through. Anxiety. It gets better. That's your, that's your confirmation. And learn to connect with people. Communication with the community. So I do think communication is going to be important, but I want to I want to point something out. You see how the eyes are being held up by the snakes? Don't share all your information with everybody. Like don't tell everybody what you're doing, okay? Just do it and then like move in silence, all right? So let's move on to our beautiful. Oh, let's give you some initials. Initials, initials. We have I, V, G. D, oh, maybe we got a Giovanni, a David, a Vivian, a Gigi, okay? All right, let's go into couples. I have to go to a, par a party in a few minutes. I got to go get myself a little bit of a costume, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to be because my ears didn't come in to be swiper. All right, let's see here. For our couples, we have the Mercury retrograde. That could be significant in the relationship. The honeymoon phase, we're feeling ourselves, and we're talking about getting pets together, and we want to take it to the next level. So we could be going to a wedding, planning a wedding, get feeling like we're going to be on a wedding, like we're really feeling this, okay? What does Mercury Retrograde want them to know? We're healing from something. We're healing. We're getting rid of toxic behaviors. You might even have someone from the past wanting to come back, and you're going to cut that off, okay? Haha, <laughs> someone has been gaslighting you about something, all right? And we're moving on. We're going to get our pets. We're going to move on. We're going to go. And someone is going to be very committed to you and give you a call about where they want to take this relationship, all right? So let's see what the cats say, right? What does the cat say? <laughs> Always in my head. Every time I say cats, let's see here. Five of Swords. So your partner is kind of feeling in a state of like they feel attacked, like they can't win for losing, okay? And they are, they got some devil energy going on. Yikes. All right. And they see you as the Knight of Wands, a little impulsive. All right. They feel like kind of sideswiped, okay, with that devil vibe. We'll clarify. They are acting like the Ten of Wands. <laughs> te calmas o te calmo, okay? We ain't got no time to play. Your partner's like, look, you take it down a notch, I'm going to take it down for you. All right, calm down, partner. What comes between y'all is Hierophant. Look, are we doing this or not? But this is what's getting me. We got the devil and the Hierophant in the same read, right? 
So this person is thinking about the devil, but the Hierophant comes between you guys. So there is something that causes a change, all right? There is a change. And then we got to stand on business with the King of Swords. We're about to be talking about it, okay? And we have the Knight of Cups right here. So this energy of the devil, are you looking for something? No, Okay. This energy with the devil coming in by the Knight of Cups, okay? Don't get confused. There is someone who is being gaslighting, okay? And remember, we ain't telling everybody everything. All right, let's just go. Let's just keep going. Let's see what happens. Five of Swords by the Ten of Wands is you didn't see this coming, okay? What is the Five of Swords about? The Eight of Cups, you, you don't even care. Pisces, you don't even care. Knave of Pentacles. Look, I want to show you something. He's getting her drunk, and then this is temptation. And then there's the devil. Look, I don't know what's going on between you guys or you got you, you girls or whatever. I don't know what y'all got going on. But there are some couples who one partner stepped out and did something, and maybe they overdid it. You know, I don't have to say they cheated, but they might have overdid it. Okay, and the other person can't get it out of their mind. So it causes an issue in the relationship. Let's look at the devil. Four of Wands. There was a lot of celebrating. And the Ace of Swords. One more. And the Five of Cups. And Regret. Someone overdid it. Someone has overdone something. Okay? What does the Knight of Wands have for us? Hair everywhere. The King of Wands. Okay, so this tells me they see you as the Knight of Wands, clarified by the King of Wands. Like... Usually, you're a little different. What are you doing now? Like, why are you acting like this? Chariot. And I think they think you're about to leave. They're like, you're jumping ship. Ten of Wands. So they're like, you know what you're going to go? I, I'm mad. Seven of Swords. If you go, I'm going to do this. And we'll do it. I'm going to do it. All right? You feeling froggy? Jump, bro. So I feel like your partner might be a little bit uh, dramatical, Okay? Hierophant with justice. So let's get married. Let's take it there. Like, I feel like this person is like all or nothing. Like, either you're with me or you're not. What are you going to do? Whew. Whew. What's going on? King of Swords. Ten of Wands. Double Ten of Wands here. There's also something about like, look, I got to go on a business trip. I got to do this. I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm going to do this. And I'm staying on business. I do not care. And you have nothing to say about it. It's almost like they want to like push you to a point and you're like, the fuck? you know, and they're like, you got, you can't say nothing because of what you did four years ago. And you're like, what? That was four years ago. I like to say, what? what? <laughs> Knight of Cups with the King of Pentacles. Do not be tempted by a Capricorn. Okay. Do not be tempted. Someone is very upset because I got the five of swords here. Look, I got a story here. I have two stories. One, y'all are going to work it out because y'all love each other. And two, someone is trying to use the past against you in the present. And they're trying to make you feel like you owe them that. Like you owe them everything because of how they've forgiven you and what they've done to you. Done for you. And it's almost at a point to where you're like, dude, I didn't even like do anything wrong. And I feel like somebody is being accused of something, but they want to make you feel sorry. Sorry for it. Like, oh, you should feel so bad about what you've put me through. I'm sorry, you put yourself through it, okay? If you didn't like what I did two years ago, you should have left two years ago. No one made you stay, okay? No one made you stay. And I feel like they're making you pay for it. I'm gonna pull this devil to the side right here, okay? And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this with uh let's see. I'm gonna do it with this cards. No. I'm gonna do it with these cards. The devil. Why is this devil in this read for Pisces? They're covering something up with the hat. Painfulness. The rose is about beauty and pain. And they want to make something grow. They're like, wait, I want something to work out for us. What is going on? Do not get caught up in their web of lies. Do not believe the hype. They're covering something up with a pretty little lie. That is not for everybody. And if it feels like it's connecting with you, you feel like it, you're going to see the number 333. Okay, that's it. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to let it go. And I'm going to move forward to what you don't see coming. And then we're going to get into all signs. And I got to take my baby. My costume didn't come in, y'all. My costume is not here. Thank you, Amazon.
Now I can't be Swiper. I'm gonna have to be Bad Girl or something. I'm gonna go put a cape on. Why? <sighs> My ears didn't come. I'm gonna go check them out. Okay. I said what you don't see coming. I'm getting upset. Let me stop. Show me the energy that they do not see coming. What do they not see coming? We have something being brought to the light. We have the sun. We have communication coming through. Unknown news from a female. Okay. At a business. Okay. It could be a bank. The way you work. And there's another lady involved. And it's about a contract. So you could be asked to be signing a contract. Someone's bringing you information about a contract you didn't know about. Either from a bank, government agency. Give me more information or from a home or a stable situation. There's also a friend involved, a new friend that's going to bring an ending to a very anxious situation. Read the contract twice, all right? Read that contract twice, baby. All right, let's do all signs and let me go get to my party with my baby. Baby, baby. My baby is Dora. I'm supposed to be Swiper, and I don't have my Swiper costume. Thanks, Amazon. All right, you want a new beginning, but someone is being a little bit too impulsive. Um, there's this, like, impulsivity. Maybe we, we jumped in too soon. Things weren't going as well as you thought they were, and now you're a little upset about it, okay? Let's see here. What do we got here? Okay, let's see. Okay, the 15th could be important. We got the 5th, the 6th, the 17th, 18th, 19th, 24th, and 25th. All right, I want to throw the 7th in there. I want to throw it. I'm going to put it. I'm, I'm going to do it, damn it. All right, here we are. Here you are as the king of swords, baby. You is about it. You're standing on business, okay? And you're very smart and logical. And Aries says, yes, we can start over. You're like, I don't, I'm, I don't know, it's a lot of conflict. And they're like, but we're going to make it through this, all right? They're confident y'all can do this. They're meeting your five of wands with the six of wands. They got a solution for that, okay? The fourth could be important. Here you are as the damn dirty magician, looking good, feeling good, and being fruitful, all right? Taurus feels a little bit defeated. They don't know how to move forward. You got your back to them, but we're going to communicate and possibly have a quickie, which causes a tower moment. Pay attention to the fourth. Here you are. You're paying. You're not paying attention to any red flags, um, Pisces. You're probably making a scarf because winter's coming with those red flags. Okay, I like it. I need a scarf too. Okay, make me one too. We'll just hang out. We'll get readings together. All right. And Gemini is not dealing with you. They're like, uh-uh. You're not gonna come bring that that hellacious behavior over here. There is no love, and someone cannot come over. Okay. And the sixteenth could be important. Here you are as the damn dirty devil. You're sexy, you're hot, and you're a bit of tip-top, okay? And the other person is like, look, I want to change my ways. This is cancer. I am not like that. I am not like that. I'm not like that anymore. But you're like, I already seen it. Okay? And it's done. It's over. You are done with your cancer. The eighth could be important. Here you are as the fool. You're ready to get it in, making major decisions and going on an adventure. And Leo is not in love. But you are. It's a sun. And, okay, now they're in love again. <laughs> you convince Leo, especially on the 16th, to fall back in love with you. They're like, okay, okay, Pisces, you win. I'm yours, all right? Here you are. It's the seven of wands. You are facing things. You have the courage to face. And Virgo is like, I'm done. I, you're not at my level. You know, I want a non-traditional relationship. You don't feel very secure, and they've been praying. What is, what are they praying about? Why don't they? They feel like you weren't showing them as much love. They're taking a gamble. It doesn't feel right. The 19th could be important. You're trying to heal, and Libra is taking their time, and you're bored, and they're over it. Your four of cups meets their five of cups, meaning basically you're walking away. They're going to be sad because they took too long to apologize. <laughs> Here you are. You're ready to offer your couple of Pisces. And Scorpio said, I'll take that. And then some. Solution, there's going to be some big changes around here, and we're definitely healing, and we're going to relax. Lucky day is the 13th. Here you are, Pisces. You are standing on business. You are in control. You're being fair. You're handling it. Okay? And Sagittarius says, can I give you some devil D? 
I just want to, I just want to be icky sticky, all right? And you're like, I'm not going to change. I'm not giving up for that quickie with you. No, no, Sag. And Sag is like, fine, forget it. I'm going to go spin my wheels somewhere else, okay? The third could be important. I feel like you're just like, I'm not into that. And Sag is like, it's okay, fine. And you're like, no, okay? <laughs> Pisces, you are tired of miscommunication and Capricorn has been spying on you and they're also not working on the relationship like they promised. But there's still love. But I want to say Capricorn's holding back on the ill nana, okay? And the 16th could be important. Here we are. You're not trusting your intuition. And Aquarius is like, that's my boo. We're going to make it. That's my man, okay? Hey, you need to pray about it. And they're like, I'm still single. So why are you praying? Because you've been partying or they've been partying. And you're like, I don't even know if you can be my boo, okay? And somebody needs to sit down and have a conversation. Here you are. You're not healing on something. You don't feel healed about a situation. And I kind of feel like with the stars, social media is getting in the way. And Pisces is like, can we work this out? Like, can we be fair? Major decision on your part. And this person is going to let their boundaries down. The other Pisces is like, you know what? I want to let you win. The 16th could be important. All right, Pisces. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful month. Take care. All right. Hit me up. Come hang out with me on Instagram. And come follow me on TikTok. Take care. Bye.